Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julie McNeilcraft. So today, once again, we are playing with the Garden Tot Collection. Um, basically because I am prepping. <laughs> um, so I am going to alter this. I was bought um, a dove um, shower thing by my daughter <laughs> as a wee gift. She's very kind of her. Um, I, I seem to get, I seem to have got lots of um, gifts um, that with shower supplies <laughs> from my, from her. <laughs> so, I don't know if there's a hint in that. <laughs> but anyway, as soon as I saw this box, it's hexagon, and yeah, because we've got the whole garden tots, Lady B, um, bumblebee theme i was like this has to be altered and i have to alter it using the garden top collection now i'm just i am actually going to be putting paper over this but i'm going to create panels and because i'm going to create panels just a tiny bit of the corners will be showing so um i am just putting a little bit of gesso just down at some of the creases just to sort of um try and neutralise that a little bit so that it's not as obvious when we start putting the panels on. I mean, to be honest, I'm planning on putting the panels on, having absolutely loads of flowers coming around it, and then Lady B somewhere. Um, so it's not going to, you know, there's going to be so much going on that it's not going to be the first thing you noticed, but it's just something I thought ahead for once. I thought ahead and thought, oh, I could end up with little bits of the Dove packaging um, showing. So that's literally what I'm just doing now. So I'm just going to continue sort of whiting that out. I might just let that dry a second and maybe give those. I don't need to do it on all of them. Um, it's just those ones there. So we'll let that dry a second. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have pulled in the honeycomb paper, which is... Of this one here, she said, stretching across the room. So I've got this paper here, which I thought would be quite nice. Um, and I am just going to measure. Well, when I say measure, measure it as well as you know Julia does do measuring, which is not that well, quite frankly. So I'm just going to literally um, create a little line there and a little line there. I'm going to cut that down and then I'm going to cut it. No, that would be an octagon. Six <laughs> panels like that and then we will glue them to the box. Um, I will also just stick that down like that on the paper and draw around it. Um, to get the lid. So once I have all those pieces cut, um, I will come back to you. I will probably also, whilst in between cutting those pieces, just give those edges just another couple of coats. I'll be back with you. Got my box dry. I've cut out my panels. I have also edged them in black pen. My hexagon wasn't quite as successful as it could have been, um, but you know, it's fine. Um, we will work with it. Um, basically, I will just have to use it as an embellishment opportunity so um i have a little reel on my instagram um and it says there's no such things as mistakes only sparkly surprises so i'm i'm working on my instagram at the minute so i'm trying to do um funny little reels i've not done one for a while i've uh, not been feeling i wasn't feeling great last week and this week i am having to get my head down and get all of this stuff organized um but hopefully next week well, I was going to say normal service rule resume, but I'm starting homeschooling next week, so who knows? <laughs> who knows? But um, I'm planning on um, doing bits and bobs. So for extra inspiration, I post a lot more of my makes um, because I don't always get a chance to film when I'm making. So um, And also I create on Facebook Lives and things like that. So um, I'm going to have to... Oh, no, it's coming. Woohoo! Um, so, if you do have Instagram and Facebook, please do consider giving me a follow on my other social media accounts because, you know, if you like what you see here and you don't want to miss out, um, as I said, I mean, a lot of the same stuff does go up onto the various accounts, obviously, um, but not everything. 
um, as I said quite often probably Instagram you'll get the most because eventually any makes that I have done here or on um, Facebook will end up on there oh I've just noticed I've got a little bit see that's what I was trying to avoid but I forgot that they'd be a bit at the bottom as oh well um, let's just see if we can quickly deal with that so remember when you get your <laughs> that's got to be the tiniest brush in the world when you get um, packaging um, when you get gifts and various types of packaging um, if it's a nice shape or, or something like that because um, sometimes kits for you know doing 3D stuff they can be really expensive um, but quite often we can just use what we've got around us so yeah I I have I squirrel my packaging and my husband has learned like as soon as I got as soon as he gave me this box he knew he knew that I'd be like he just kind of knew that this was going to be this was going to get altered at some point <laughs> you know a certain shape boxes come in this house and it's kind of a given I was having a laugh with um, the girls from crafting with all brands because um, Bev had spent like three days cleaning her craft space and uh, so we were sort of discussing cleaning your craft space and what it's like and um, I was saying that I went through my craft space to bring everything back down to the craft room as opposed to in the loft so I was saying I, I did actually throw out actual crafting supplies um, and I squirreled away packaging <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like there's something a bit wrong about that isn't there it's like yeah well we'll throw out the craft supplies but save my brown packaging don't go throwing that out <laughs> oh dear got a laugh right so we'll just gradually work our way around so some of these panels are going to be slightly busier than others but that's because it's like I didn't have a plain paper in the set but it'll still look quite nice and it just means that when we go to embellish it with the flowers and things that we'll maybe choose the oh look that actually matches quite well look at that um that there'll be other ones that are we'll concentrate on the plainer ones for when we sort of start embellishing it as I said I kind of have this vision of flowers coming round the box and a lady bee being somewhere um, so we'll see how that goes there we go I'm just going to work my way around and then when I get to the top panel you'll see um, I'm going to put that one there I think just trying to see how that oh actually that does, that marries up there excellente so I've got another one here with a bit of a bit of extra pattern so I'm just going to knock that back a little bit so obviously these paper panels were cut out of the paper so some of it matches and some of it doesn't but it, as I said it's fine um, because we will um, this is this is the very first layer as it were there'll be lots more to come and then when I do the lid you can see um, the dodgy dodgy hexagon that I cut. Clearly I obviously need hexagon dies. Probably have them somewhere but that would require knowing where they were. Actually I don't think any of my dies came down. They're still in the loft. I've got like one set of kind of plastic drawers but it's honestly stuff I don't really use. Um, and I very rarely use dies in my crafting to be honest. And I know for some people that is their main form of crafting but we all find our niche. We all find where we're happy. Um, I like stamping and colouring, um, so that's where I'm at my happiest. Look, isn't that so pretty? I don't actually feel like I need to do much else to that, it's just lovely. Right, as I said, just with it being honeycomb, it was just, a, a, it's, with it being hexagon, it was just automatically saw the connection between the honeycomb theme, Lady Bee and the hexagon, so it was kind of like, it had to be done. It just had to be done. So we've got that one in there, look! Isn't it pretty? I like you. Now wait till you see this dodgy hex hexagon, it really is quite impressive. Look, it's not too bad, but just there. That's just not nice! So we'll have a big flower going right there. So I'm just going to 
that. Now I've stamped out Lady B and her bumblebees but I have not yet coloured those in. Um, so I am just going to leave this. I've also been filming since 3 o'clock this afternoon and it's now 5 past 9. I have to get this, whatever I'm making with this, finished tonight because I need to get all the blurb and whatnot off to the Hachanda advertising people in the morning. So I absolutely have to finish this. Obviously by the time you're seeing this, it will, that will have well been done. So I'm going to have a cup of tea, colour up my image and then we will put that together. But I don't think, once she's coloured, I don't think we actually need a huge, we, didn't, we need to do a huge amount. So, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I have cut out, coloured and cut out our fabulous Lady B. And yeah, I have got, um, I'm not quite stamped and coloured all the sets out yet. I'm sort of gradually working on it. So I have a few bits and pieces in here but what I have done is I have fussy cut um, a whole load of the flowers um, and sentiments and bits and bobs. I'm just going to take the toppers out there so that I can rummage. Um, from the toppers and fussy cut kit. So what I'm going to do is take a whole load of flowers I think and sort of wrap them Right, trouble is, I've got my dodgy bit there, so I need. Yeah, so maybe we'll start here. And I kind of almost want to wrap them around. So, um, let's have a little see. I'm just going to start actually because I think it's one of those things that I can't re I can't really sort of arrange it, um, just because, um. I can't, I can only sort of balance it on one panel, I can't start to then move it around. So I roughly know what I'm doing. I am going to shape my flowers as I go, so I'm just going to um, cut into them a little bit and then just shape them, um, just to add a bit of extra interest and I'm going to glue them down. And I'm kind of just going to wrap them round. Um, I appreciate though that watching this may take a little bit of time so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop you on fast forward as I am because I'm literally just cutting into the petal I may use different flowers but I'm literally just cutting into the petal a little bit just to give me a bit more give and then I'm rolling it in my hand um, so and I'm just going to gradually add sort of create a bit of a floral thing and um, probably going up this one and maybe onto that one a little bit then once I have done that I will work out where we're going to pop our lady bee and we'll probably have a couple of extra buzzy bees going around and yeah probably an extra few embellishments here and there but I can just see that this bit is going to take a little moment so yeah let's just pop you on fast forward <laughs> while I do that. So I'm just, I have, while I was off camera, I just got my Distress Ink and one of my blending brushes and just put a little bit of the mustard one, what's it called, mustard seed, um, and just around the edges because she's going onto yellow paper so it'll just help those sort of white edges disappear and so I've just sort of bent her slightly, I'm just going to grab a piece of cardboard while I wheel across the room. Right, so let's just grab a piece of cardboard and we'll just, I probably need a couple, so we'll just cut a few strips there. That should be enough. And then I'm just going to pop, build that up. So 
again, this was um, packaging, um, so obviously our original substrate is um, gift packaging. Um, so save your packaging, save your boxes and bits and pieces because really quickly and easily, I mean all we've done is put a bit of paper on and um, a few flowers and it looks really impressive and imagine receiving a gift in that. Um, so it's really it's impressive and a bit different so I think it's worth doing, you know worth sort of thinking outside the box a little bit. So we've got her and we'll just pop Lady B in there. I have decided that I'm going to make a little um, video and pop a little craft vlog and put it up here um, giving the story of Lady B. At the minute, min oh, I can not speak, at the minute I am just um, making lots of videos because I'm prepping what order these videos will actually hit my channel remains to be seen yet so but yeah and my I believe I love bumblebees because they help to um I, I I think it's like believing in the impossible which is what I love um about them um I love when hugs that actually could be quite nice down there just about fits on if I chop that down um especially as it could be a gift for someone as well you know you'd be presenting it in a gift I think that works quite well in fact I'm going to break it up because it doesn't quite fit in that space so let's let's um oh, I've just dropped my love right so we could have love and hugs maybe mm, I don't know I actually liked it down the bottom so let's have love and we can also have hugs going round around the corner <laughs> Oh, I've chopped my nails and I can't actually, yeah, I'm going to have it going around the corner. I don't know if that works or not, but it's working for me at this present moment in it, time in my head. I can't see what I've done with the old Pro Marker. So I'm going to have to pause the camera. I've had a little fiddle around with the sentiments once I find my Pro Marker. So I've actually, I'm going to break it up. Oh, I'm going to have the love and up here. And then we'll have the hugs down at the bottom. I'm just going to glue those down. So I'm just using a normal PV glue. I think this is Cosmic Shimmer. So. Right. Pop that up there like so. And then I want a few of these bumblebees. So I'm just going to grab there should be enough yellow ink on this because as you can see I've done a few things with yellow ink I don't want to do too many of these um yellow just yet because obviously um they're kind of sitting ready to be used and um if I end up using one of these on something that's not got a yellow base around it that would be a bit irritating so I'm just going to sort of do a few as I go so I've got those for just now so this is in Lady B's stamp set as well. We've got a little um, bumblebee. Let's maybe have, oh, we could have some sort of sneaking in the flowers. A bit big in comparison to Lady B, but why not? Why not? Ooh. Right, so I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna have to stick them on cardboard, I think. So, pop a bit of cardboard on, she says. She says, she says, she says. Oh, I'm filming very late. It is currently 5 to 11. But, I, as I said, I need to get this all <laughs> filmed tonight because tomorrow I need to get everything photographed and blurb written up. I'll, um, 
to send to the lovely people at Chanda. So I'm going to just have to stay up no matter how long it takes. So as you're watching this, what time is it? <laughs> there we go. Put that on there. It's going to flatten the flower a little bit. That's all right. We can live with that. So I'll get another one on. So I'm quite impressed to be honest because I well I've been filming since three and I've made three cards some of that the, the three cards were, was quick and easy um, because we used the topper kit so um, we deliberately made some quick and easy cards just to show how amazing that kit is and then I've made another little mixed media project and then this one so I mean that for me in one day is quite impressive because I'm not the fastest crafter in the world. <laughs> I do tend to faff. I'm a faffer. It's just, yeah, even when I went through a stage where I thought I, I thought about selling cards and sort of made them in bulk, and even then, when I was trying to do it, and I was sitting there thinking, right, I need to sort of make a whole load fairly quickly. I still had to do all the little extra bits, like ink the edges of things and because it just didn't look right otherwise. So that's how that is looking. I'm kind of wondering, I think I will actually, because this goes all the way around and it stops dead there, I just feel like there should be another 3D flower just down this side, just to bring it round, um, so, as I said, just so it doesn't stop dead. And then all we need to do now, I'll maybe put another, well actually I don't know if we need the We'll pop another, um, there we go, just, just feel that it needs, just so it goes from point to point sort of thing. Right, so this bit here is where we've got the dodgy bit at the top, so I need to do something about that. So let's have a little look at what we've got in here. I do have some of these sort of honeycomb bits. So I could keep it fairly simple and just sort of add, there we go, that would bring that out to there. <laughs> See where there's a well, and there's a way. So we could, we could tuck that in there so that we've got the three, oh, that's quite cute. So. That, that is working, but we've still got a gap there, so I think we'll have another flower there at some point. So let's just get this stuck down for just now. I'm going to stick that. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap under that flower because I need to tuck this hexagon in. I'm just trying to line this up so that it's where it should be. So this is the thing. If you do something and you're like, oh no, I ruined it. doesn't matter. There's always a workaround. So we basically just need to hide that tiny bit there now. Um, so yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So it just gives you the opportunity to be creative. And sometimes when you're having to rectify something like that, you maybe do have to think outside the box. And it's amazing how much having to sort of fix a little something like this can and completely expand your creativity. What have we got? Enjoy the little things. Um, or we could... What else have we got? We've got some flowers. So, I just, as I said, I'm just needing to position these things so that they kind of hide. Actually, I've got some bigger ones like that, like they've already got a straight edge, so maybe if we do that completely, completely overshadows it, we could maybe do something, yeah if I overlap it even more, and then we could have, oh yes, I like that now. Right, so it's kind of almost like a collage effect. 
So again, we've just chopped into our papers. Um, I happen to have it all sat there, but that's just because I spent a bit of time sort of chopping into my paper. So I'm going to need to overlap this a little bit, which will mean I need to just cut it straight, which I will sort in a minute. We will do that in a moment. And now we've got a nice little topper and no one would ever know. I mean, this actually, I could undo the lid if I could be bothered. I'm just going to do that. There we go. All sorted. And that's that. So that's the lid. Let me just kind of clear my desk. Just a, a little moment. I feel like my chair is really squeaky. I don't know if that comes out over in the video, I guess I'll find out when I start editing <laughs> this random squeaks. Okay, so that is our repurposed toiletries box. You know, we had some toiletries in it, so we just covered it with a bit of paper, added some 3D flowers, and then we've got our top there. So that is that there. I hope you have enjoyed watching me create this if you have enjoyed it here please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll be back again with some more crafty goodness very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.